In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I think one of the basic functions um, of the priest, the two basic functions, is to pray as well as to preach. You might call it the two Ps. To pray, pray for the people of God, people entrusted to us, but also to preach or to teach or to catechize. For example, yesterday was Friday. I had an hour class from about four to five. Then I had a group of 40 confirmation students from 5.15 to 6.15. Then I had a mass from 6.15 to 7.15. Then I had another class at 7.30 to 8.30 in which I gave a long extensive talk on the person of St. John Bosco. So basically the whole afternoon and the evening I was basically teaching almost the whole time which I feel is so important to uh, teach, to preach. St. Paul says, faith comes through hearing, and hear hearing comes through preaching. And Paul says, I to me if I do not preach the word of God. So this is our ministry as priests, to preach and to teach. Now, uh, the brief catechesis I'd like to give you uh, this um, Saturday, and I would say don't forget that Saturday is a day in which we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. This happens to be the first Saturday of the month of February, and tomorrow is the feast day of the presentation of our Lord in the temple. So always on Saturday you should try to try to augment your devotion to Mary. So that be the, being the case, this is the first Saturday month. I would, um, I would I'd like to talk about a, a Marian devotion that's very important, and to see if I can get it out. Here it is, no? <clears throat> and it's the, the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. You see it? This is a scapular. And the scapular, you, sh you as, as followers of Jesus and Mary, you should all wear it. You wear it over your shoulder. And the word scapular comes from the Latin scapula. And it means shoulder because you place the scapular, you place it over your shoulders. That's the um, etymological meaning of the word scapular. Um, when the First Communion children, after they've made the First Communion, on the day of their First Communion, I enroll them in the scapula of our Lady of Mount Carmel. And I place the scapula on them, hoping that they will wear the scapula all the days of their lives. Over the past four to five years, I've been giving Marian missions, missions in which I go to parishes and I give talks on the Blessed Virgin Mary. And then at the end of it, I consecrate uh, the people and the parish to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The exterior sign of their consecration is the imposition of the scapular. So by wearing the scapular, you're saying that you really want to belong to Mary. You want to be in Mary's school, in Mary's family, in Mary's heart. That's the whole meaning of it. So you wear it, and the first thing you should do in the morning is, upon waking, you take your scapular, and 
he kissed the scapula. Now the, the church actually offers a an indulgence for those who kiss the scapula. Partial indulgence. Which means you can apply that to some soul in purgatory and by means of that help that soul in purgatory to arrive at his final destiny, which is the beatific vision of God, to be in heaven contemplating and worshiping the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit for all eternity. So I get up in the morning and I kiss the scapula. And the first prayer that I say in the morning, every morning is, O oh, Signora mia, O oh, Madre mia, yo me ofrezco de todo ti, en prayer para mi filial afecto, te consagro en ese día, mis ojos, mis oídos, mi lengua, mi corazón, en una palabra toda mi ser, ya que soy todo tuyo. Madre bondad, guarda me, y defiende me como cosa y posesión tuya. Amén. I actually learned the act of consecration to Mary in that form. It's the the uh, form of Colby, the shorter form. I learned it in Spanish in Argentina, and I've, and I've always said it in that language. So you can say it in whatever language you like because the Blessed Mother understands all languages, especially the language of love. Then I take the scapula and I kiss it. Then uh, this is my own private practice. I, I bless up here, which is I bless my forehead. Then I bless the eyes, bless the lips, the tongue, sometimes three times. And then I bless the heart. Why? Because I want my thoughts to be pleasing to God through Mary. I want to be able to contemplate the beauty of God through the eyes of Mary. I want to be able to preach and teach and evangelize people by my, by my words. And then especially I want to bless my heart so I'll be able to love God with the heart of Mary, to love God with all my heart, mind, soul and strength so that's the beginning of the day i think it'd be a good idea if all of you people could start off your day by making your consecration to mary kissing it and if you like blessing the different parts of your body whereby you're giving yourself to jesus through mary then you you live out your consecration try to live in the presence of god Try to live in the presence of Mary. Try to do what is pleasing to Jesus and Mary. And live with your scapular. This is your sign that you, you belong to Mary. So you know, on one occasion, many miracles that are accrued to the wearing of the scapular. St. Alphonse de Liguori, the founder of the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, known as the Redemptorist. One occasion, um, he was celebrating Mass. And some of the back of the Mass uh, didn't like him very much, to put it mildly. And he pulled out a gun and boom! He shot at St. Alphonsus, and the bullet went through the chasuble, went through the alb, went through the religious habit that I have on now, my religious habit. It went through his shirt, his undershirt, and the bullet was embedded in the scapular over his heart. Wow. That really says a lot because what happened was he should have been killed. It was as if the Blessed Mother had her hand, her hand which was blocking the bullet from penetrating the body and the heart of St. Alphonsus, and that would have obviously killed him. What does that mean? We're surrounded, my friends, by so many different enemies today, from within and from without. The devil tries to tempt us. The world tries to seduce us into thinking that happiness can be found here on this earth. 
And finally, our flesh doesn't want to obey the spirit. So Mary wants to help us. So wear your scapular. When you get up in the morning, kiss your scapular. Um, try to get people to wear the scapular. And not, don't forget, it's not simply, it's not a, it's not a good luck charm. I think if I, if I wear this cap, this guy, it's a good luck charm, so I'll get a lot of money, I'll be able to live a wild life, and you now that's, uh, that's insulting Jesus and Mary. It's a, it's a sign also that we want to try to live good lives, live imitating Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph. So this Saturday, first Saturday of the month, try to go to confession as often, as soon as possible, receive communion, uh, meditate upon the mysteries of the rosary, Pray the rosary, and you can receive the promise of the first five first Saturdays. And Mary promises in a very special way that upon dying, she'll help you to get to heaven. And really, that's the only thing that really matters in our life is for all of us to get to heaven. Nothing, absolutely nothing is more important than all of us getting to heaven with our loved ones. So place yourself in Mary's hands. And I like to give all of you a very special blessing on this day of Mary, Saturday. And all of you go to Mass tomorrow, which is the fourth Sunday in ordinary time. And the Mass will be the presentation when Jesus, as a, as a small, as a little baby, was presented in the temple to Simeon and Anne. We can renew our lives, renew our consecration, present our, ourselves to Jesus through Mary tomorrow in the, in, in the Holy Mass. So I'd like to bless all of you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you in a very special way through the intercession of Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Pray for me, and I'll pray for you.